It's your boy DJ Academics and the coonery, buffoonery, and outright fuckery has infiltrated hip hop. Masqueraded around as high fashion, but clearly promoting the demasculinization of urban males. Skirt gang is among us, recruiting rappers and fans alike. I don't have to get into the historical context of cross-dressing, wearing skirts, leggings, the origin. I don't have to get into the possible African ancestry. I'll leave that all up to y'all. But let's just examine this for a second. Is hip-hop the vehicle where the demasculinization of the urban male is being promoted through? Now, before I go any further, this is not an attack on sexuality. No, the goal isn't to turn a bunch of straight niggas gay. To keep it real, if you're gay, that's something completely different. And you're in your own lane doing what you do. But while keeping this in mind, it seems like there's an obvious agenda or some type of influence and force that's aiming to demasculinize the male within the hip-hop slash urban culture. Now we have cross-dressing actually being promoted as high fashion. We have hip-hop's version of Gangstalicious just coming out in the mitten. He's wearing a female dress and fans are eating it up, calling it thug style. As I said, these niggas all belong in a group called hashtag skirt gang. Niggas went from money gang, rich gang, to skirt gang. Now one of the other theories of this demasculinization of the urban male actually comes from the fact that hip hop has been following the trend of the prison industrial complex for so long. Niggas in hip hop have copied people actually in jail with their sagging of pants, their language, and just straight up demeanor. And while that heavy influence in hip hop could be directly attributed to prison, niggas actually forget that a lot of niggas go to prison and turn into booty bandits. Niggas start dressing like females and niggas start playing a feminine role. Now in hip hop, the alpha males are completely extinct. You might be able to find a dinosaur before you can find a nigga who's an alpha male in hip hop. But to keep it real, I'm only here to pose a question. In your opinion, where do you think the game is going right now? Is the game really just being manipulated by this whole sense of high fashion where skirts are the new end game? Niggas rocking booty shorts and pantyhose? Little girls dresses out of Kmart? Demonic looking tutus and leopard print leggings? Is that where the game is at? Or is it really a deliberate attempt by some external force, and you guys could name whatever you think that is, that's nudging the culture of hip hop in the direction of demasculinizing the niggas within hip hop for them to accept a more feminine role, start dressing feminine, and also to eradicate all these alpha males who have been known to terrorize and scare the shit out of mainstream white America. Once again, it's your boy DJ Academics. I'm just posing a question. I want you guys to weigh in. Get in that comment box. Hit that like button, comment, share. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'm out.